my mom is a toxic person and I don't want her in mine or my family's life. Well, Alex, Scott, and Sean want me to watch out for their mom, Geraldine's fake tears. But Geraldine says she was the best mom she could be and wants her sons to stop punishing her for the past. Take a look. I have no communication with my three sons or their children. It makes me angry. They are all conspiring against me. I'm pissed. They're using my grandchildren against me as a weapon to hurt me. I would like my sons to know that there are two sides to every story. I was a great mom until I met my second husband. I got pregnant while still married, moved from California to Maine. My plan was to take all my children with me. I fought as hard as I could for custody of my sons, and I ultimately lost. My heart, I don't feel I abandoned them. I tried to be a mother from a distance. I made phone calls on a daily basis. I flew back and forth. I don't know how many times. I'm sure I missed birthdays and Christmases with them. In the past several years, I have become aware that my children are very angry at me. I have apologized many times. I made mistakes and they need to move on. It has to stop. Their level of hatred is way beyond what I deserve. I've become a victim. I do believe that. I want to know why I am still being punished for things that happened 25 years ago. They're dragging me through it continuously. I can't ever step away from it. It's time to move on. You tell two very different stories. I will not put myself up there as a number one mother. I, I have let them down. But... I believe that we need to move past this. We need to not repeat this cycle. The only way this cycle is going to be repeated is if we let you speak to our children, which isn't going to happen. Perception is reality. They perceive you as choosing some man over them, dropping them at a motel, and taking off. Did that happen or did it not happen? I don't recall that ever happening. Maybe it's well, wait, maybe wait, it's wait, blocked wait, 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 wait out. Wait a minute, you don't. That's not something you got. Like, let's see. Um, dropping did a, I dropping wear a blue a shirt or a red shirt. So you, dropping you, a man. That's an grandpa pick us up. They they knew I was moving. I had been through a court well, battle. The fact that they knew it doesn't change whether you did it or not. What they're saying is the day came when you said. I have a choice to stay here near my sons or take up with some other guy and move all the way across the country. I think I'll leave them here and move all the way across the country. That's rejection. That's saying she's putting us here and somebody else up here so she's loading her stuff up and hauling ass. They made the choice to live with their father. They made the choice in the court yeah, with the, the me besides you, Alex. How does a two-year-old make a choice? You, you know, weren't two. You, know you were three. I would never leave you my son. You know the court doesn't take any there was children a, into account until they're 13 or 14 There was a mediation. Was there was a mediation. And I was told that their choice was to live with their father. I don't understand your logic. You're saying, let, let's assume for argument's sake that... All of a sudden, the laws changed, and they were allowed to make the choice. I, I don't believe that. I don't okay. believe a two-year-old. I don't believe that, yeah, that, no. that they could do that. But if they did say they wanted to reside with their father, how does that justify you choosing to move 3,000 miles? You can't get any further away than Maine unless you went to Nova Scotia. <laughs> you you went as far right. away as you possibly can. Because they chose to live with their father, I'm not saying they did, but for argument's sake, say they did. How does that justify you deciding you're going to, as their mother, go as far away as you can possibly get? I chose to relocate to the state of Maine, which these sons of mine don't even know. But their father would come up in the middle of the night, all hours of the night, knock on my...